Hello. In this video, we are going to prove the following theorem. Suppose A, B, and C are real numbers. If A is greater than B and C is greater than zero, then CA is greater than CB. Now in this series, we are using a list of 10 axioms for the real number system. And I'll leave that list of axioms in the description below. Now, before we get into proving this theorem, we are first going to prove the following preliminary result. Suppose a, b, and c are real numbers. Then a times b minus c is equal to a, b minus a, c. Now, to prove this preliminary result, we are going to use the following axiom. We have axiom 3, which is just the distributive law. Now also, axiom 5 introduces the concept of the negative of a real number. And axiom 5 says, for every real number x, there exists a real number, which we call the negative x, that has the property that x plus the negative x is equal to zero. And a fact that we proved that is associated with the negative of a real number is the following. We have proven for all real numbers a and b, the negative of a times b is equal to a times the negative of b, which is equal to the negative of a b. Now, also using the concept of the negative of a real number, we define subtraction as follows. Suppose a and b are real numbers. We define a minus b to be a plus the negative b. So now let's get into proving this preliminary result. Now the whole goal is to show that a times b minus c is equal to ab minus ac. And we're gonna show that through a chain of equalities. And through that chain of equalities, we are going to be applying axiom three, triangle, and the definition of subtraction. First of all, by definition of subtraction, b minus c is equal to b plus the negative of c. And then, applying axiom 3, we can distribute a across this parentheses. So we have that a times b plus the negative of c is equal to a times b plus a times the negative of c. But then, according to triangle, a times the negative of c is equal to the negative of a times c. Just like that. But then applying the definition of subtraction again, ab plus the negative of ac is equal to ab minus ac. And so through this chain of equalities, we have shown that a times b minus c is equal to ab minus ac. And that is exactly what we wanted to show. So this proves our preliminary result, star. And now, our next goal is to prove this theorem. But before we get into proving this theorem, let's get a little bit more context. Now, our real number system is equipped with a subset, which we call the set of positive real numbers. And it's denoted as R+. Plus. And one of the axioms that is associated with the set of positive real numbers is axiom 8, which says the following. Axiom 8 tells us, for all positive real numbers a and b, we have a plus b and a times b are also positive real numbers. And in proving this theorem, we're only going to need to use the fact that a times b is a positive real number. And also, using the set of positive real numbers, our definition of greater than is as follows. Suppose a and b are real numbers. We say a is greater than b if a minus b is a positive real number. And one of the obvious facts that we proved using this definition of greater than is to say a real number is an element of the positive real numbers is equivalent to being greater than zero. So for all real numbers x, x is a positive real number if and only if x is greater than zero. Okay, so now let's get into proving this theorem. Now, we're trying to prove if a is greater than b and c is greater than 0, then ca is greater than cb. And to prove that, suppose a is greater than b and c is greater than 0. 
From here, the whole goal is to show that CA is greater than CB. Now, by definition of greater than, since A is greater than B, we have A minus B is a positive real number. And by star star, since C is greater than zero, we have that C is a positive real number. So then, by axiom eight, we know that the product of two positive real numbers is a positive real number. So, since C is a positive real number, and A minus B is a positive real number, we have that their product, C times A minus B, is a positive real number. And then, by star, we have C times A minus B is equal to CA minus CB. So really, in star, we're taking A to be C, B to be A, and C to be B. With these three choices, we have C times A minus B is equal to CA minus CB. So, since C times A minus B is a positive real number, this tells us that CA minus CB must be a positive real number. And then, by the definition of greater than, since CA minus CB is a positive real number, that tells us CA is greater than CB. And that is exactly what we wanted to show. So, what we see here is, we have if A is greater than B and C is greater than zero, then CA is greater than CB. So we have proven exactly what we wanted to prove. So this completes the proof. And so yeah, that's pretty much it for this video.